channel and today's video I'm going to make uh, masitas de cerdo fritas which mean like pork fried pork but I'm going to use the ribs and that's um, boneless ribs what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this meat in chunks and you're going to see this if you're going to Puerto Rico you're going to see this a lot and we call them masitas de cerdo and we sell it with a lot of different things with rice meat or uh, mofongo and any type of <laughs> or even by itself um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it if you see this is how it looks some people want to leave it like that but I'm just going to cut it approximately like three pieces and then I want to wash them with lemon but the lemon is optional you can use vinegar or you're just going to go ahead and rinse it up if you want to wash the meat if not but that's fine you just cut it like that and I'm going to show you we're gonna put it in a bowl, and after we wash that, we're gonna season. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm going just to cut the meat, and we're not gonna use oil. I mean, usually in Puerto Rico, eh, we fry this in oil or um, on lamb. I think it is um, vegetable lamb or, or well. Uh, but in Puerto Rico, we fry them with oil. We're not gonna use that. If you wanna remove the excess of the uh, grease or fat you can go ahead and do it I'm not gonna do it because I'm gonna use that um, to help me fry the pork okay I'm just gonna go ahead and continue doing this and then um, I'm going to wash them with lemon and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna season in my meat Okay, now I'm gonna squeeze one lemon in there and after I squeeze the lemon, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it up. You're not gonna see this part because I'm gonna go to my sink and I'm going to rinse the, um, the meat. Some people rinse it up and then they add the lemon and let the uh, juice in there. So whatever you prefer is perfectly fine. And after you wash them real good, now we're gonna go ahead and season it. I'm going to use salt, black pepper, dry oregano, and garlic powder. You can also use uh, garlic, fresh garlic, or you can add more seasoning if you like, but the pork don't need too much seasoning, honestly. You know, it tastes good. So I'm going to go ahead and put some salt, some garlic, black pepper, and then I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and add some of the uh, dry oregano. If you um, if you are kind of picky on, I'm using your hands with the raw meat, um, I recommend you to go and buy some disposable glove and then use glove. So your hands are, are the best tool to, when it's come to, to cook, being honest. But remember, it, your hands always has to be clean. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some more salt and some more of the uh, um, garlic powder. And I also gonna add a envelope of sazon. I'm, I'm adding the uh, envelope of the uh, sazon con culantro y achote. If you don't want to use sazon because the MSG, you can go ahead and use, put like a, probably a tablespoon or two tablespoons of paprika. You can use smoked paprika or just regular paprika. And we're going to go to the stove and start working with this meat. Okay, I have a saucepan in here. We're not gonna add anything, like I say. We're not gonna add no oil, no nothing. We're just gonna let it heat it up and then we're gonna add the meat. What we're going to do is we're gonna, to, we're gonna seal the meat for approximately one to two minutes per side. And then I'm going to show you what we're gonna do next. Okay, your saucepan is hot and then you're gonna add the meat. Like I say, you're gonna cook it for probably two minutes per side, just to seal the meat.
now what, what you're gonna do is, you're gonna cover it. What it's gonna do, it's gonna release her, their own juices and it's gonna cook inside. You want a tender a meat, you don't want a rough and tough meat, you want a tender meat. So you're gonna cover it and you're gonna let it cook for approximately seven minutes. And this, this meat is gonna release water, but you don't want that because you want them fried. But I'm going to show you after probably 10 to 10 minutes what we're going to do next. Okay, after 7 minutes, if you see all that water released by the by their own juice, we don't add no water, no, no oil, no nothing. We're just going to uh, drain that water. Some people look, just let it cook uh, through and let them evaporate the water. But I'm just going to go ahead and take some of the water out. And when you take the water out, what you're gonna do is you're not gonna cover it. You're gonna cook this on cover and medium high until it's fried. Uh, practically, the meat is done, but you just wanna brown it up because you want them kind of fried. So, depending on how you like it, that's the time you're gonna let them. We like the um, the meat kind of burn, put it that way, but that's depending on you. As you see, I'm gonna let it cook, just stir it occasionally until it's done. I mean, and you can serve that with some tostones, you can serve that with whatever you want. I'm gonna serve mine with white rice and a garbanzo beans, and as you see, it looks so beautiful. It looks so good. Or you can go ahead and put some barbecue sauce. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share.